Well, hi, Arnie. I suppose the, the face says it all. Real disappointment in the camp tonight. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, uh, we knew that we had to come away with a win today, and uh, we didn't really uh, sort of kick it on in the first half, and we had we left it too late in the, sort of you know the last five ten minutes. And uh, when you play a, a quality side like Gloucester, you know it's too late. A lot of uncharacteristic mistakes today from the guys. Yeah, yeah, we. Um, uh, yeah, it was. You know, that's that's been uh, good for us the last few weeks. Um, just kicking through those mistakes, and uh, we, we we got some good ball, but then it was slow at the breakdown, and then and then that just kicked on to, to handling errors, and then and then uh, playing in the wrong area of the field, and and uh, when you do it again like a, against a quality side like Gloucester with all, all the names that they got, you know, they'll punish you. In terms of it, though, there was a real battle, and the, the battle up front today was was real tough. Yeah, yeah, you know, they got. A quality forward pack, a big forward pack, and uh, we knew we knew if, if we were going to be there or thereabouts that we have to take it to them up front. We didn't front up last week, so we had to try and uh, try and uh, rectify that this week. In terms of it, though, you've got a golden opportunity right there, and two yellow cards, and you think you well, you do go over, and it's just literally a small margin of a kick, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, um, you know. Uh, we did put in the corner. We probably should have tried and uh, gone in field a little bit there, but uh, we're in the heat of the moment, you know, you, you don't really sort of think of those things. And uh, um, it was hard luck for, for Stino, uh, Stino, uh, in the last sort of kick there. You know, we, we, should, we shouldn't have put him in that predicament. We should have, you know, uh, pr won it, kicked on in the first half and uh, got a real good lead. You got a nice little break now before Worcester. It'd be good to recharge the batteries. Four massive games between now and the end of the season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got four big games. So I think it's two and two with a break in the middle uh, with the Heineken Cup. Um, so we've got a week off now. Let the boys uh, recharge their batteries, sort of thing. A lot of boys have played a Has lot. Has it of been a tough few weeks for you guys? You yeah, you played a lot of tough rugby. Yeah, yeah. The boys have played played a lot of rugby, and uh, and week in week out, and it'll be good just to refresh those batteries, as as Rob said, and, and make sure we focus on the job at hand when we come back and play Worcester. In terms of Worcester, though, you know they'll be fighting for their lives. They've still got a glimmer of hope, haven't they? Yeah, exactly. They, I think they're playing tomorrow. Um, uh, we'll be watching that, and. Um, you know, they've got a glimmer of hope, so they'll be clawing for everything. And, and same with us, you know, we need to kick on and win these next four games and, and try and get into that top six. I was going to say, Europe is a big ask now with results elsewhere this weekend. Yeah, yeah, if we uh, don't worry about anything else, just worry about on ourself, ourselves the last next four games um, and, uh, and hopefully try and, try and get as many points out of it as we can. Thanks.